Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you the easy way how you can install Apollo Group TV application to your Fire Stick. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store, of course, depending on what device you are using. To get the loader, we just go to search on your device. Here's a search bar, let's open it and start typing the loader in the search bar. And as you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings, here they are. Then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it, and here we have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if you cannot find developer options anywhere, do not worry, it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go back to the list of apps on your device. Here it is. And there's the loader which we got to your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any device you may have. And they can cover all of your devices at the same time, which is amazing. And by the way, their premium service costs less than a cup of coffee per month, which is amazing news for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any locations, let's say to Greece, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. So go get those 4 months for free and then use the loader safely. Now we can finally safely open the downloader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, that's important, and then here you'll see such a search bar, which we'll use to enter a link. You'll see the exact link you need to enter on your screen in a moment. And here's the link, it's apollogroup.tv, make sure to enter the link exactly as you see on your screen, and do not make any mistakes, because if you make a mistake, obviously the link is not going to work. After that, we click on go, and in a couple of seconds, a website is going to open. And when it opens, you have to scroll the website down until you see those download buttons. It's not visible very well, because for some reason they used a white font on the gray background, which is definitely not a great idea. But here you can see Android TV, and that's the version we are looking for, so we need to click on download Android TV version. It does not matter if we are using a Fire Stick, it's based on Android anyway, so we need the Android version for our device. We click on download, and now the download has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Now it should be ready to install, yep, let's click on install button right here, and in a couple of seconds the Apollo Group TV application is going to be installed to our Fire Stick. Yep, and it's ready to use right now, however, before actually clicking on open, I would recommend you to click on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore, so do not clog the memory of your Fire Stick with unnecessary installation files. We click on delete, and then delete once again. This way we have erased the installation file from our device. Now you can click on the home button on your remote, and go to the list of applications on the Fire Stick. Here it is, let's open it. Then scroll down and here you'll find the Apollo Group TV application which we just installed to the Fire Stick. 
Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, there's a button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press move to front. This way a Power Group TV application is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then once again don't forget to use a VPN to stay safe and private online and you can get 4 months of NordVPN for free if you use my link in the pinned comment below. After that we can finally open a Power Group TV app and here to log in you'll need to use your email address or a username which you use to create an account with a Power Group TV and of course enter your password as well. And if at some point you decide to delete via Power Group TV, you just select the application from the list, click on the options button, click on install, uninstall once again, and then click OK. And pretty much that's the guide for you, hope it was helpful and see you next time, bye bye.